So you've decided to install a custom recovery, maybe to install a custom ROM, install a custom kernel, or maybe just to access your system partition for one reason or the other. And maybe you just wanted to have it just for temporary purposes and uh, you wanted to revert to your original recovery. Now I know most of you maybe do not know how to do that. Or do not know how to source the original recovery image well today I will be showing you how to do just that now it is very simple I have a previous video on this but I was using my PC to do this but today I will show you how to do this without a PC so I am on top right now I do not have the recovery image as yet so we'll be boot and um, go on to a website called desktop.firmware.mobi in order to generate an original firmware image for our device now this this has recovery images for pretty much most samsung devices so you can download the recovery image the boot image and also generate a root package for the device so this website doesn't only cater for recovery images okay so i'm now on the website now you see the link up here i'll provide the link for that in the description so you type in your device model of course and uh, for me my model is smt280 and i'm going to type that in so you type in the name of your device and you already and immediately you will see these two options here just select any one of them and submit now scroll down Okay. if you notice you realize this 404 error just refresh the page go back and select any one of these but select the first one now scroll down and you see there that you can have different images in my case my model doesn't support root but you may see it there too but we are not focusing on root, we are focusing on recovery image. So you can download it in different forms, the tar.md5 or the tar. The tar or the tar.md5, you can download these images if you're flashing from your PC and you like to flash with Odin. Zip, you can use this for your custom recovery and also the .img. But I will use the IMG for this video. Now you have to allow it time because it will be processing the file from the firmware and then it will download the file here. So now I have it downloaded, I am now going to power off and reboot into my recovery. So to do so, to enter your recovery mode, your volume up, your home and your power buttons. Very simple. So I am now on to recovery. You install. Locate the folder where you have the file downloaded. In my case, downloads. Now you notice that the file is not here. This is because uh, to by default filters for zip files. So you see up there install zip. So the file won't pop up because it's an image file img file so in order to see the file here or for the file to appear here you tap on install image so you see it here immediately so tap on the file install to recovery this is very important ensure that you select this because it's a recovery image if it's a boot image you select boot but this is a recovery image so you select recovery so you swipe to flash and immediately it's finished so after it's done you go home you reboot to recovery. Okay, so you see now we are back on the original recovery. Top is no longer here. We do not have top anymore. Reboot system. So let's ensure that the device would boot up successfully sure that we have no boot loops
okay and uh, we are done all right so guys i'll stop here thank you very much for watching my video if you like the video share the video with others um subscribe to my channel of course show your support and um i will see you in another video and of course if you have any questions of course you can visit my website and um, i have a special chat feature there so you can chat with me live chat support and um yes so you can also send your comments too and uh, i will try my best to answer them as quick as possible and uh, okay i'll end here thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in another video